not every day or every week is great. Everything is so up and down. Truthfully, I did not have a good day. Honestly, I feel burnt out from my job. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Welcome to a work week in my life. It's the lighting is gonna go in and out right now, but we're in a garage because first of all, I left my camera in Thomas's car. So I started off the vlog with clips from my phone at the office. Happy Monday. Today's also a really special day because it's Thomas and I's anniversary today. Today is how many years, Thomas? Eight. Oh, you're doing like five years. No, it's eight. <laughs> well, regardless, it's a lot of years, you guys. We've been dating for eight years today. We started dating in high school, but you guys know Thomas if you've been watching the vlogs. But if not, welcome. If you guys are new to my work week vlogs, I work in corporate strategy nine to five, and I'm in the office around like half the time. I work in a hybrid environment, so I'm in the office and I work from home just kind of like to my choosing. So I caught you guys up on everything. We're actually in Reston, Virginia right now because we're gonna go to Bar Taco for dinner. Luckily, this just like worked out with our schedule and everything, and we're gonna go to Bar Taco for like a free meal i'm gonna make a reel for them and it'll be really fun but it's also our anniversary so this is gonna be a nice celebratory dinner and let's go to bar taco and then i will talk to you guys afterwards but i think we're gonna get ice cream after <laughs> bar taco too because we have this new place we're obsessed with i'll show you guys later let's go you guys look at how cute thomas looks you guys those are the shoes that i got him for our anniversary that's his eight-year gift they're new balance shoes i saw you inside it was a cold winter night You sure like different and toxic Can still make you feel alright Now I'm sitting here Holding back tears and fears You're just my type As the night goes on I keep biting my tongue Saying I still haven't been To make this moment go wrong Okay you guys, it's a little bit dark But you guys can still see what I got I got a make your own this is thai rolled ice cream it's literally so freaking good i got cap'n crunch and strawberry on top but the actual ice cream is vanilla base tom has got brown sugar boba for his we're you guys we are like obsessed with this place this is in fairfax virginia for any of you guys in the dmv area and this is called 520 ice cream oh my god you guys it's so good we tried this for the first time like a couple weeks ago and we've literally been going like every week ever since if you guys go you can make your own if you want but the first time we got this we got reese's blast and it literally like blew my mind happy anniversary happy anniversary <laughs> look how cute thomas looks thank you <laughs> aww thomas got me flowers they're so pretty thank you back home and honestly i'm really tired it's like nine o'clock so i'm gonna go to sleep i'm gonna read this really sweet card i'm gonna go to bed i will talk to you guys tomorrow morning i'm gonna go to the gym in the morning too i need to be out of here tomorrow morning by 7 30 for a umd alumni networking event so really early morning i'm gonna try to go to sleep like right now also if you guys are curious i vlogged an entire separate video last year for our seven year anniversary that was really fun we did like a staycation in dc and i just vlogged like the whole trip so i will leave that in the cards here if you guys are interested check it out and yeah happy anniversary to me <laughs> okay good night Morning, you guys. 
I started doing my curtain bangs a different way, but I feel like it looks really, really good, especially for my longer curtain bangs now that they're grown out a little bit. I just feel like the swoosh is like really nice. But good morning. Um, no, I did not work out this morning. I am like late. I've got to go. It's like 7.30 right now. Thomas is really nice and he just cut me up some strawberries to bring to work and I have a daily harvest otherwise, but you guys, I've got to go. Before I forget though, I want to show you guys my outfit today because you guys, I know you're going to ask me about this shirt. This is so cute. What's really nice about this is that when it's really hot out, this will basically be like just my jacket, but it's a button down because you guys know how the button down trend is just really in and I love it. I got this from Amazon too, so I'm gonna link this below for you guys, but this green is just so in and I love this outfit, it's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna go to work. Good morning. Um, I'm gonna pack all my stuff and I'll show you guys my full outfit and everything, but I'm literally just wearing all black and then this button up at the top. So, let's go to work. Okay, you guys, I'm headed off to work. Here's my outfit today. I think this is very, very cute. I just wanted to show you guys the whole outfit and it's like entirety. This is why if you guys just, I know I said this in my last weekly vlog, but if you just have all black, you can just get different colored tops and like layering pieces to put on top and they're totally new outfits, even though you're just wearing all black. So, and then here's my new work bag. So cute. I gotta go. I will see you guys after work, but have a good day. Okay, let's go. Wanna love, wanna love, yeah. wanna be coming, yeah. don't wanna need ya, don't wanna be familiar. Was more than friends with you, gave you everything, you heal my everything. Hi guys, happy end of the day. You guys, truthfully, I did not have a good day. I just like, it was one of those days where I had meetings back to back starting from two until the end of the day. And then before two, I had that networking event in the morning at like 8 a.m. So my day just started like really early and I was like talking to people starting from 8 a.m. which is just like exhausting. I had like some personal stuff that came up during the day. And it was just one of those days where a whole day went by and I feel like I got nothing done. And we don't talk about those days enough because it's so taboo. I'm learning, even like the C-suite executives have days like that. And I just wanna tell you guys that that's normal. So yeah, just, it was not a good day. I'm feeling like really anxious and it's to the point where like, I'm not gonna go into the office tomorrow going. I went in today and yesterday, which was good. I was in today, I was in yesterday and it was really good to start my week off that way. But like now I'm like, God, like I'm in one of those, like Tuesdays are the worst, you guys. Tuesdays are just the worst and I'm in like this type of Tuesday where I'm like, is this it? Like it's really only Tuesday, like that's, we still have the whole week. So that means I need more personal time, not more like productive work time. And so I'm gonna work from home tomorrow. I don't even care about the lack of separation. Like I will separate it because I just need more personal time. I'll talk to you guys after therapy. How about I'll talk to you guys either after therapy or as I'm walking or running or I don't know. I'll talk to you guys really soon, but I just had to like rant about this and like vent. Hi, it's like 9.45. I need to go to bed, but I'm so bad and honestly, no, okay. Last time I talked to you guys, it was right after work and I was just in such a bad mood. And I really, I don't mean to ever be like negative on my channel or anything. I just, I was just feeling so unwell, stressed, overwhelmed, and I need to talk about it. I realize I've taken one day of PTO <clears throat> all year, which is so bad. Like it's mid-May. I feel like I was depending too much on the disconnect days that my company gives me to even take time off. Or maybe I was just thinking like, there's just no reason to take any time off if I'm not going anywhere. But I just need to change that mindset and like do something else. But luckily, so I went on a long run. I like cried about it in therapy and just everything else that I'm dealing with mentally. I'm just like struggling a lot mentally. And then Thomas was so nice. He made me food and then he went home for the night. And then I just went on a long run slash walk afterwards. It was really nice to just like decompress and let everything out. 
And then I went to Target and you guys, look, I finally replenished on my greens, but this is a different one. This is the Greens Blend Detox and Digest because they only had the small super greens blend at Target and I wanna get the big one at Whole Foods because it's just like more bang for your buck. So I got this to try as like the smaller size and let's just see if it tastes different. And overall, I just want to give you guys like a comparison between the detox and digest and the superfoods that you guys know I love. Okay, let's try. Cheers. It tastes like basically exactly the same. It tastes, if anything, a little bit watered down. And I'm pretty sure this is like the usual amount of water that I put in. It's like ever so slightly a little bit more fruity. Really not not that much different though, but this one has probiotics. I don't know, we're gonna have this for 30 days and then I'm probably just gonna go back to my big super greens blend because I think I like that more. It tastes basically the same as this, but I don't know. We'll see if this makes a difference in my energy because I know that the super greens does. And then the other things that I got from Target were two of the Chobani Complete. You guys have heard me talk about this a million times. One of my friends, Andrew, told me about these and it's literally amazing because they, he's, I have to give all credit to Andrew, but he says that these are like the real life adult sized animals which just you guys they are they taste like animals but it's 25 grams of complete protein and no added sugar which is like literally insane and then i got an avocado and then i got some new eggs okay well that's everything i feel like i'm gonna try to get up early but we'll see i'm working from home tomorrow so who knows but happy it's only tuesday I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for hearing me out. Last time, it's okay to have unproductive days. I like keep having to remind myself that. Good morning, guys. It is 8.20. <laughs> Clearly, I did not work out this morning. I went to bed like really late. Honestly, you guys, okay, let me tell you. Thomas was home last night, so I went to sleep by myself and like usually I'm like, okay, I need to be in bed like by nine or 10 so I could wake up early and go to the gym. And it's like all very a lot. But last night, Thomas wasn't here and it was just very quiet in the place. I went on a night run. It was really, really nice, honestly, because I was having such a bad day. And then I watched a Netflix show before I went to sleep. Well, you guys, like, don't you guys know that I just don't watch shows ever? Because it, honestly, like, I feel like I don't have time to sit down and watch a show. And I always feel like I'm like, I gotta go to sleep or I have to do something or I have to focus on this or I have to edit or I have to work or I have to be with this person that I never really give myself time to watch shows. That's why whenever you guys ask me for show recommendations, I don't have anything new to say ever because I don't watch anything because like that's really how frantic I am like all the time. I watched a show last night and it was a really quick show. Um, it's like a comedy show. I don't, I don't know if you guys would be interested, but it's called I Think You Should Leave. Uh, my friend told me about it and I was like, I need to like just relax, not think about anything and be like very light before I go to sleep. So I turned off all my lights. I watched an episode of I Think You Should Leave and then I went to sleep and it was really funny. Because of that, I went to bed a little bit late. So I woke up this morning and I was like, no ma'am, I'm not working out. <laughs> I'm gonna work out tonight. I think it's just gonna be one of those like very, I have no idea when I'm exercising weeks because I just can't do it right now. But I wanted to sleep in this morning. So I slept in, I made myself a morning coffee. You guys, because I have pre-workout in the mornings, I don't even drink coffee in the morning anymore because my pre-workout alone is like 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is like a lot, a lot. So I'm making a coffee this morning, giving myself just like a little bit of extra, like take care of yourself, Jenna. <laughs> We're gonna start work early. I need to really be like careful with myself and I've decided that I'm going to talk about am I growing and getting ready like mid 20s growing pains because I just haven't like talked about that. I talked a lot about friendships last time but something I'm really struggling with and something I'm like talking about a lot with my therapist is like no one talks about your mid 20s. You talk about your early 20s and your late 20s but like what about the part where everything changes almost all at once. I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning. Here's my little pajama outfit. I love this so much. It's from Nasty Gal and you can get it on sale for like $30. It's so good. Okay, let's change. Start the day. I need to take all my work from home stuff out of my bag too so I need to do that and I look a little mm, I look like I just woke up Hi 
because it's actually like the end of the day. <laughs> not even, because I'm not even done work, but I like did not talk to you guys throughout this entire work day, which to be fair, if I were in the office, I wouldn't be doing that anyways. But I talked to my sister during my lunch break, so it was really nice. I had been meaning to call her like since Monday and it's Wednesday, so everything's just been crazy. So I took my opportunity to talk to her during lunch and it was really nice. I had like eggs and toast or something. And then Thomas came back, he's moving his car right now and I'm just finishing up my work day. We're like deep in the midst of trying to figure out like where to live next year. We need to decide before he goes to Korea, which is literally this weekend. So things have just been crazy. Like my mind is everywhere and I still need to film tomorrow's video, which is so bad. Like why am I so behind on everything? But I need to film that, like I've been saying all week, so I need to do that and yeah, I think I'm gonna do that and then literally like just take off my makeup. I just wanna check in and say hi. I'm standing right now too because I'm in just like a bleh, you know? <laughs> I just feel like bleh. <laughs> so I need to stand. I'm like literally so tapped out. I'm so close to being done with the day and I need to film and edit. But the editing won't take long. And then I'm going to the office tomorrow. This whole week, you guys, I realized it's just me getting back into my routine because I was like going crazy all last week traveling, not even working from here. So this is a work week getting back into it and clearly it takes a couple days, okay? Well, I will talk to you guys later. I just want to say hi. I'm almost done. Hi guys, it is eight o'clock. Oh my God, it's eight o'clock. I just don't know what happened to this evening. Oh, I know, I was working until like 6.30 maybe seven and then I saw to film my video so I did that which is why my makeup is all done what do you guys think I'm making dinner I'm not working out today I usually don't work out on Tuesdays to be fair and I ran yesterday so I think it's okay but now for dinner you guys I'm trying the daily harvest crumbles these are new and so we're making a flatbread and we're going to try these crumbles basically the idea behind this is that if you want added protein in your daily harvest bowl or your flatbread or whatever it is you can add these on top of it and it adds like 13 grams of protein per serving and there's three servings in this bag which is really nice so let's just see these are the main ingredients as i get mm. oh wow i can taste the like almond it's interesting i'm gonna leave my referral code for daily harvest if you want to get up to 40 dollars off your first box i don't even need to tell you guys again but i genuinely eat daily harvest like every single week i always bring it to the office it's such a good easy healthy organic fresh meal and i don't have to prepare it at all and the crumbles are really nice just because if I do want to add protein and I do have time, these go really well. They're supposed to like pair really nicely with the Daily Harvest bowls. Totally optional, not sponsored. I just genuinely love Daily Harvest. Thomas is trying it first, you guys. Do you like it? Pretty good. Yeah? You don't like this stuff usually. Plant-based stuff. Okay. My turn. Mmm. 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 I actually really like it. Yeah, it's good. The flatbreads are really good. Definitely did not cook it long enough. I was impatient, okay? Okay, we're gonna eat so that Thomas isn't in first class eating with you guys, but I'll talk to you guys later. I think we're gonna go to walk afterwards and then I have to finish my video. Pretty chill today. I am uploading the video now. It's 11.33, so I need to go to sleep like right now, but the video ended up being around 21 minutes long and it's really just like me ranting <laughs> for 20 minutes. I feel like since I came back from vacation or like my it wasn't even vacation because I was still working, but I feel like I've just been spending this week getting back into it. So my videos are a little like just basically unedited, but I promise you guys, like I'm just getting back to my routine and I still wanna put up content for you because I know that I missed last week and I'm just trying to get back into my routine, even though I've said that so many times, but it's stuff like this. Like sometimes I just wanna finish something and complete it rather than spending so much time editing it the way that I want because when you're in a transitional period like this, getting back to your routine, you just kind of have to go through the motions the best that you can. Didn't end up working out today, but I still finished my video. I went on a walk still with Thomas and it was really nice. I feel like I just had to listen to myself and like know what I needed. 
and I got everything done. I need to go to sleep now. It's still before midnight and I'm trying to get up early to go to the gym before work. And I'm just going to go a little bit on the later side, not at like 8 a.m. like I usually have been. So I'm still going to have a good morning routine in and I will feel really good if my morning routine is done tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, hopefully. I said that last night, I just feel like, but I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. guys happy thursday i keep thinking today's friday so i'm not doing too good there i am getting ready to go to the office i'm just putting everything in my bag now Hold on. guys i'm telling you this bag is so so nice it comes with a laptop sleeve it has all these really nice compartments and i've never thought i'd have like an actual organized work bag until this so you guys have to get this it's from amazon it's like 30 or 40 dollars or something it's so good and it's so cute like isn't this cute? But I do want to spend some time with you guys before I go to work. I had a really good workout. I'm going to try something new today. I'm so excited because I saw this on TikTok. They're an Asian small owned business. I'm going to link their website for you guys. Boba tea protein powder? What? It's actually insane. BobaTeaProtein.com. You guys have to check this out. If you guys like boba, there's zero grams of added sugar. There's real black tea in it. There's 25 grams of protein. And I think this is vegan. No, this is not vegan. <laughs> Oops, it's not vegan. I thought I got the vegan one. I'm actually so excited. So let's try this together before we go to work. Okay, one non-vegan protein shake is not gonna kill me, right? This way. I could have sworn I got the vegan one though. It actually comes with a lot. So it comes with 25 servings. 25 grams of protein is really good. And it's lactose free. Okay, I'm gonna try it with almond milk only because like it's boba tea, you guys. Like I have to have it with almond milk. One scoop of boba protein with a mix of one part milk and one part water. Oops, I spilled. Okay, so one part water, one part milk. It's kind of weird, right? Okay, and then one scoop of the protein powder. Pretty big scoop. You guys, if you like boba, like I really hope this is good and I can tell you guys to get this. Ideally, like if you guys had actual boba to add to this protein shake, I, I feel like it would blow my mind. Also, you guys, look at my Dyson hair today. It's so cute. I'm actually learning a better way to do my curtain bang. And then I gotta go because it's 8.30. That tastes so good. Thomas is gonna try it. Mm. I know, isn't that crazy? That's really good. I know. Yeah, you guys, this tastes like the black tea. And that's like the flavor that we got. I believe they also have taro and matcha. Here's information about the protein if you guys are curious and everything. I don't feel like I would want this every day anyways, just because it is pretty expensive. I think it was like 45 it's pretty expensive but i actually would recommend it like the aftertaste is really really good too i'm gonna go to work i will see you guys at the end of the day i need to take my greens too so i'm just gonna take this with me chug this now and dry scoop it dry scoop the greens no i am gonna rush i am gonna rush i'm gonna take it really well i'm not gonna dry scoop my greens oh also this dress is from princess polly but i don't think you can get it anymore i found the beige version but i don't know if this print is available anymore but you guys this is like the best dress ever it's even better than the new one that i just got from princess polly because it has sleeves so i can wear this to work you guys it tastes like literally 99 percent the same just like ever so slightly different but it's really good i'm gonna get my original one still like i said but this is good in the meantime okay well now i'm officially done with my morning routine i actually had a really really good workout and it was really nice i got it right at six and i finished everything so now i'm gonna go to work i will see you guys later have a good day my hair looks so good today <laughs> okay i'll see you guys at the end of the day was more than friends with you gave you everything you heal my everything
because I am going out. <laughs> I think it'd be really fun to just like go have a nice fun Thursday night, like in the youthful times. So I'm gonna go do that and I'm definitely not gonna vlog for the rest of the night. But honestly, I had such a chill week. Like I didn't do anything yesterday. Okay, you know what? Honestly, you guys, I just wanna have like a good night, okay? And I wanna go hang out with my boyfriend and meet his friends. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't need to justify this, but here's my outfit if you guys are curious. I'm bringing my Gucci bag, you guys know. This crop top is from Princess Polly. This is like actually, I think my favorite thing from Princess Polly in terms of basics. It has like a little cinch on the side and it's just really nice. I'm wearing my Abercrombie jeans and then, and then I'm wearing my new sneakers that my sister got me. So I'm gonna have fun tonight, you guys. I feel like every day this week has been different, whether I'm like crying or stressed or having fun, but like Thursday nights is honestly the best. It's like better than Friday night sometimes most of the time i will talk to you guys later i had a really nice time at dinner with my friend lauren she lives in chicago and she was visiting so i got dinner with her caught up with her and it was really fun it was actually the first time we ever hung out like outside of work so at least just us two so it was really fun okay i will see you guys tomorrow have a good night i'm gonna have a good night and we'll see how my energy is tomorrow morning but good night you guys just don't forget to have fun if you're in a good mood just like roll with it you know i'm gonna go have fun guys happy friday last night was really fun i had such a good time with thomas and like meeting his work friends it was really really fun we weren't even out late at all like we got back at like 11 but i'm gonna be honest with you guys i'm just having a bad day again like this is just a full week of ups and downs and i'm not even gonna try to fake it to you guys and i feel like this is like how i was on tuesday i'm so stressed out with everything all the time. And I feel like I'm trying so hard not to reach like low lows. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I am just like not having a good week. I'm trying really hard to like make the most of my good moments, but I think at the end of it, I'm just like not having a good week. And honestly, I feel burnt out from my job. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I realized when I was in Florida and I couldn't take PTO when I was in Florida because it was too last minute. It was such a last minute trip that my family made. It was too last minute for, you, for me to even take PTO. But I did check my PTO while I was there just because I was curious. And you guys, I've taken one day off since January and that was for my sister's birthday. I just feel like that's so problematic. I feel like I am like burning myself out from my actual job, which is new which is interesting and challenging, but having no long breaks, like I've had disconnect days every month and maybe I've relied too much on that to have like a long weekend, but I feel like I haven't fully disconnected from work all year. Like, and I mean like a week off, like I haven't done that. So I am just like, I feel like I'm at my wits end right now with like my energy at work. Every, I feel like I've been telling you guys in all of my last weekly vlogs, how stressed I am and how busy work is and I just like need to like come clean and tell you guys that like this week is so up and down I think because I'm like burnt out from working I, I don't have any time off and we're especially in corporate such a big benefit is that you do have pay time off and you do have in my case like unlimited PTO so you just take it whenever you want it's not accrued so that's really nice but in the Florida situation I couldn't do that just because I want to be a respectful team member and I don't want to just like put some PTO on someone's calendar last minute when I have projects and responsibilities of my own. So that was my mistake, but that was like a one-off thing. Aside from that, I just like am so tired and I like had a meltdown last night. Talked to Thomas like forever about it and I'm so tired because we went to bed so late because I was talking about it. And now I'm having a peanut butter and jelly. I had also zero drinks. Like I'm I had that one glass of wine at dinner and then I had no drinks. Like I'm not hung over anything. I'm just like, this is actually my energy and like my, <laughs> I'm eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like I'm just not well. I mean, these are really good though. I feel like I try my best to be positive with you guys when work is busy. Cause that's what I need. Like I need encouragement when I feel stressed, but I'm sorry you guys, like in this case, I'm just like, I need to let it out. And I just need to like come clean because I feel like Maybe you guys have noticed, I don't know if anyone's really analyzing me like crazy, but, and I've taken no time off because I haven't prioritized my time off of work. I've prioritized like how to balance YouTube with work and I've prioritized people 
but I'm understanding and realizing now I haven't prioritized my relationship with specifically my job because it's a new job and I've just been trying to dive in ever since October and do really good work, which I think I have, but I'm like at this point where I'm barely being productive during the week because I'm so burnt out and I'm just so overwhelmed. I am gonna end off this vlog, not, not here, at the end of the day and finish off this work week properly, but I will talk to you guys at the end of the day. I just like need to get through this day and it will be fine. I have some PTO next week, but it's a long weekend for Memorial Weekend. It's like a four day long weekend, that's really good. I just like need time. And I have a week off in June. So right, okay, the right side of this is that I'm trying to make things right. I have a week off in June, a week off in July, and maybe I'll even take some time in August because I've literally taken one day in all of 2022. So here's your reminder to take PTO if you need that reminder. Even if you're just gonna stay at home, just take it. Why didn't I do that? I'll talk to you guys very soon. I'm gonna enjoy my sandwich and I'll talk to you later, but happy Friday, sorry. we are done with work oh my god <laughs> okay honestly you guys i just need to like start my weekend and honestly this vlog was so ridiculous i'm sorry that like friday is basically nothing but i just was not in a good mood all day and i'm really relieved that the week is over and i'm just gonna relax the rest of the day i'm gonna start looking at this footage and editing honestly editing i really love it so it'll just be a really good way to like do stress and not think about work but i just want to show you guys that not every day or every week is great. Everything is so up and down. And I, I know I talked about this in my growing and getting ready, but you can have good days and bad days so quickly and good moments and bad moments. Just That's just gonna happen no matter what. And I feel like I could do a better job showing you guys those realistic moments. So this is as realistic as it gets, you guys. I'm not in a good mood and I'm really sorry, but I love you guys. If you ever get like this with work and life, you are not alone. I'm in no way like a perfect person, so. I feel like I could do a better job showing you the real side of everything. But regardless, you guys, the week is over. I love you guys. Have a good weekend or have a good week if you're watching this on the day of premiere. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, miss you already.